Stephen? Long time no see. Is that you? Why? Do I look more handsome or still the same? I can't believe it's you. You look like... You are still my same May one. <laughs> what do you think she's doing there? Don't know. It's so quiet. Too quiet. She hasn't come out for a long time. Ella, Ella, come out. No, never. She must be hungry. I don't think she ate lunch. We should make her eat something before she gets sick. Aya, she won't die la. Call! Ella! Come and eat or we finish all your makan. None left for you. I don't care. I'm not coming out. I'm never coming out. Never coming out? She doesn't need to go to the toilet. I give up. What do you want me to do? Bang down the door and drag her out? I know what to do. I don't like this look on your face. What kind of idea is this? A very bad one. Hey, nice to see you again. Oh, same here. Hope the bomb will do you soon. That would be nice. See you. See you. Hello. I am Diana's mother-in-law, Matilda, Kenneth's mother. Mm -hmm. Do you know Kenneth? Uh, Diana's husband? Uh, uh, no, no. There. Um, Auntie, I'm Melvin and it's nice to meet you, but I really have to rush off right now. What did you just do? I knew it. That man has no idea that you're a married woman. You're mother of three. Disgraceful. I don't think this is a good idea. You are right. It's not a good idea. It's a great idea. I am a genius. You are still as strong as ever. No. I'm stronger. Everything is stronger. My hands. How much I hate you. What are you doing here? What do you want? I can't talk out here. Why not? You know why? I should call the police right now. Me why? We really need to talk. Problem over. No more cockroach. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Thank, thank you. Thank goodness you guys are outside. <laughs> what? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. How come you guys are just standing outside my room? Coincidence. Standing outside holding slippers. You guys are waiting for me to open the door. You were the one who put the cockroach in. It was handsome's <laughs> idea. It's not funny, okay? <laughs> what? Why stay until like that? I've been waiting for so long to see you. You know, I was nervous about seeing you. <laughs> you don't look nervous. I'm not. That's why. I thought things would feel different, but it's as if I never left. Meanwhile, I really missed us. I really missed you, Stephen. I missed you. When I have to pay for handsome heart surgery, and you ran away with all the money? I missed you. When I have to sell the family business to pay for all your debts that you left us with. I missed you. 
When the police was questioning me about you, I missed you. When I have to go to the children's school all by myself, to see the teacher, to watch their concert, to pick them up when they were sick, I missed you. Sorry, Mei Wan. I should have been here. A good father and husband would have stayed with us. But you ran away. Even if I stayed in Singapore, I wouldn't be able to help you. The police would have caught me. I would have been in jail for a crime I didn't caught me. You disappeared and left me to explain everything to the children. Uh, you, you told them I was innocent, right, Mei Wan? You, you know I would never do such a thing. I know. What were you doing with that man? Melvin, nothing. We were just talking. I saw the way he was smiling at you. The way he was smiling at him. It's so coy. Coy? You two were flirting. I have to work. You're walking away because you have a guilty conscience. Pati! Pati! Auntie, 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 outside. With the boy. He's not a boy. He's a man. A man? You know him? I think he's Mami's classmate from school. I need to see. All the time when I was away, I've been wanting to ask you the question. I always knew you believed it. You don't come back after so many years just to ask me that question? Why didn't you stay away? Why did you come back? You're not happy to see me? <laughs> you look like you have the money to pay back your debts. That's why you are here. Me Wan? I can't be running forever. I had to see the family. Especially now with Ella and Ayuk like this. You read about them from the newspaper? Yeah. So, so how is Ayuk? How would I know? I don't get to see her. <laughs> She's now with a new family. <laughs> I don't know how you can take it. I don't know how the boys can take it. Someone should pay for this. Someone should pay for this? That's why you are back? To make money out of it? No, of course not. But... But what? Look at you. You're suffering. The whole family is split up. And... Ella is feeling so bad. How do you know how Ella is feeling? You talk to her? Don't tell me you are that Larry. The one that she's seeing now? You are Larry. See, he's very handsome. Too handsome. Auntie, here to see Diana. It's shocking how many men come to see her when Kenneth is not around. Shocking? The children tell me that you went to school with Diana. <laughs> we were in JC together. That far back and you still meet up? You two must have been very close. How close exactly? What's going on? Why so nervous? I'm just trying to determine the exact nature of your relationship with this very attractive gentleman. You are not. She really? Auntie. Diana and I are old school friends. I'm actually going out with... Nothing's going on with anybody. Come on, Thomas. What are you trying to do? Actually, I don't want to know what you're trying to do. Come on, kids. Let's head home before your party decides to question more random men along the street. You met Ella? 
Yes. You met Ella and you told her that you are Larry? You are the one who make her so sad now? I had to see her. I just wanted to be there for her. She's so scared. She's going to court tomorrow. And she had no one else to talk to. No one else to talk to? Who am I? What are you trying to say, huh? Hey, what? You are trying to say that it's my fault? Huh? I am a lousy mother, that's why she go around destroy other people's property! I don't know how to take care of her! No, me, 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 what? Come down, come down! You come back after so long to tell me I'm a lousy mother? You dare! You lousy, disgusting idiot! I am going to... Meiwan, oi! Hello? Uh, Meiwan, uh, what's happening here? Nothing. Nothing? All that screaming and banging is nothing? The longkang cat la, come inside here. I was trying to chase the disgusting cat away. Hey, don't be so cruel. Don't throw things at the poor cat. You might hurt it. He deserves it. You open the gate, I, I, I'll help you to find. No need, it ran out. I saw it run to your restaurant. What? My restaurant? Oh, lemak. You better not go into my kitchen. That was close. Honestly, between the police and her, I'd rather be caught by the police. That woman is damn fierce, right? <laughs> Just like last time. No matter how angry you get, I can always say something to make you laugh. Nothing has changed. Stephen, you can't just come back into our lives. Everything is changed. You have to go. Go and never come back. Ella must not find out who you really are. May why? I want to be here for you. No need. I have this shop. I have the children. You don't have a place in our life. Please go. Okay. Please call me if you need me. No need. Just go and don't come back. I can't promise that. Morning, Ma. Morning. Ma, looks like a bad bed today. Look at the eye. Ma, didn't sleep, is it? How to sleep? Ella has to go to court. Good morning, Ella. Good morning. What do you want for breakfast? I can't. How about if it's something Ella likes for breakfast? Like what? Wait, I see. Something Ella. Another good idea. Let's go. The kids have gone to school and it's just us. Diana? My goodness. You haven't given up, have you? I'm very disturbed. You were flirting openly. I wasn't flirting. I heard. You were so far away, you couldn't have heard anything. My hearing is legendary. I have literally heard a pin drop. Have I told you the time? Yes, many, many times. Too many times. I heard that too. And when I introduced myself as your mother-in-law, your friend seemed very surprised. Ate, we only chatted for five minutes when we first met. We only exchanged our names and we didn't have time to get our marital status. And who tells someone that they are married when they've only met them for five minutes? Any decent married woman would. Okay, fine. Yes, I flirted with Melvin a little bit, so sue me for enjoying it. Your husband wouldn't like it. I don't even know if my husband is coming back. Don't talk nonsense. Of course, Kenneth is coming back. He missed Valentine's Day. What's wrong, Nella? Talk to Lucky. This atas roti very nice, right? 
It's delicious. And so... But you're not eating. I'm just wondering what prison food would taste like. You don't have to wonder. Yeah, they won't put you in prison. Maybe girls home. Eh? Cannot. You're too old. I still can't let go of the matter. How can you think that Kenneth will leave you like that and not come back? I wouldn't have said it if I didn't think it was true. Diana, Kenneth is coming back. What makes you so sure? Well, Kenneth takes after me. If we say we'll do something, we do it. Did Kenneth say that exactly that he was coming back? I can't remember exactly. He said he was on a business trip. That already is a lie. What else? I can't recall. He was rambling so much and he always does that. He goes on and on and I forget what the main point is. Like the other time when he called me to ask how to choose avocados, he started off on that. And then he went on to talk about the trolleys and the supermarket and about how the layout of the aisles is confusing and... Do you know that the supermarket near your house has a sale? And... <clears throat> what? Oh, Kenneth's rambling and... He really does take after you. <laughs> Ella, you checked you have everything? Yes. I think we should bring this. Let us like she might want it. She won't. You know what to do, right? Yes. Don't be nervous. Look like you're sorry. Don't get angry. Don't be rude. See? No problem. How come you know so much? You've been caught in her? What? No. Other people told me. Sure or not? Really? Okay, let's go, let's go. Diana, huh? I look after the kids. Oh, they are fine. I don't need to go anywhere. I mean, when... when you can't. But I know Kenneth will be back, and he will need my help with the kids. God forbid he can't bear to come back. I'll be here. His brother Marcus needs you in Perth. The kids there are getting older. We can manage something. So don't worry about them. I promise you, these kids will be okay. Atet, I really appreciate your offer. But the children need a parent, not a grandparent. Isn't it the same? They need someone to bring them up. I actually have someone else in mind as the kid's future guardian. Oh. Hey! Auntie Ananya! Met her and Nina Banana. Auntie Ananya, ya papaya. Ooh, I got a new one. Auntie Aunt Kaya. Aunt Kaya? <gasps> Yeah. Good one, Nina. Mm -mm. You know what? You're going to regret that. I'm going to spend all day at work coming up with new names for you. Oh, hi. How was it? I'll tell you later. You go and get something to eat first. Thanks for being here the whole day. Okay. I'll be back. What? I heard Ella pleaded guilty. Yeah. So? Happy? It was the right decision, Ella. It would have been awful and all over the news if, if you... If you didn't pursue charges against me, there wouldn't even have been an issue. Ella pleaded guilty for the lighter sentence, okay? Not for your convenience. Ate, what do you know about Melvin, the man Diana was flirting with? Here we go again. Uh, they met at a bar. A bar? When Diana set eyes on him, the first thing that came off was her wedding ring. Came off first? What else came off? Uh, Diana, is that true? I knew what I was doing. I just wanted to have some harmless fun. Mm -hmm. YOLO. Who? <laughs> YOLO, you only live once. I've never really experienced the swinging single life and I wanted to while... While Kenneth's away? Sneaky. While I can. 
before it's too late. Ananya, leave it. I'll clear it later. I'll do it. She gets like that when we talk about me not being around. If she can't handle this, how can she handle raising your children? If she says she'll do it, she will do it, that's Ananya. You should call Melvin again. What? I know you're not betraying Kenneth. And I've had those kind of thoughts too. What thoughts? Other men, other lives, who I would be, who I could have been if I had taken another path. You have? Diana, now is the time for you to do what you want. Go for it. Larry? How was your day? I'm just glad it's over. I know I shouldn't contact you after the other day, but I was worried. I'm happy that you did. Talking to you always makes me feel better. Ella, I just wanted to tell you to forget about what happened and look ahead. You have got great things waiting for you because you're an amazing young lady, okay? Thanks. I really needed to hear that. Will I see you again? Yes. Soon. Thanks. Please let me know as soon as you get any better offers. There has to be something out there for me. Was that the headhunter? She's useless. They can't find anything suitable? She said it's going to be difficult to match my pay scale and position. All his openings are for junior positions at smaller companies. I'm not doing that. Forget about him. And what am I going to do if I lose this job? I have to do something. I'm going to make sure you don't leave Shelley Holdings.